I decided to go for something simple and cute this time. Please subscribe and leave a like if you think my tutorials are helpful, and I hope you enjoy making this cute little elephant. Let's begin. Shift A to add a round cube and change radius to 1. Press Ctrl 2 for a subsurf and shade it smooth. Scale it in edit mode and shift D to duplicate in object mode. Again, scale it in edit mode and press auto mirror button in object mode. We need to move it up the stack. Select this face for the nose. Extrude and scale as needed. You can press Ctrl right click to extrude if you find that easier. Turn proportional editing on and off by pressing O or the button at the top. I'm just refining the nose. You can press Alt-Z for X-ray mode. Let's extrude the leg by selecting this face. I'm gonna use the loop tool first. Move, rotate, and scale, then I to inset. We'll need to move these verts inward. Press G twice to slide these verts for the back leg. Select this face and repeat the process. I decided to add a loop cut to the nose. Let's select these two faces for the ear and extrude. I'm going to extrude two more times and shape it in X-ray mode.
you can make yours different smaller or bigger all up to you. Let's add a cone and a UV sphere for the hat. Select these faces and move them inward in front view and we're done with the modeling. We have to unwrap the model first in order to paint texture. I'm gonna apply just the mirror modifier and press U to choose Smart UV Project. Let's add a base color texture paint slot. It's very convenient and easy to create a color palette. Just press S and click on the reference image color area you wish to use. When you switch between draw and fill tools make sure to click on the color you want before actually applying because it doesn't transfer over. There's a stabilize stroke option, so use it if necessary for certain areas. Symmetry option is also available for things like eyes so make a good use of this option as well. I'm going to unwrap the ball now and go through the same process, adding a base color paint slot.
If the image editor area doesn't update, choose the right image from the drop down. I've prepared the images to be used as stencil brush texture already, so I'm going to click New and open the file from Texture Properties tab. Go back to Brush Settings and choose Stencil. Click the Image Aspect button to make sure the image aspect ratio is correct. Go to Top View. It's right click to move, shift right click to resize, and control right click to rotate. I'm gonna apply the stencil image to top and bottom. I'll open the star image now. Let's hide the reference image for better view and apply the star image around the ball. You do have to save the image texture you painted by pressing this image menu. If you saved your painted texture as a different image file like I did, you should open that file from the shading workspace like I'm doing now. In either case, don't forget to save your image, all your hard work down the drain if you don't. Let's add new textures for our hat and use the color picker. Our cute little elephant is finally done. Have a great day and I'll see you soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching guys.